My name is Stephanie Young, and I'm a policy analyst at the RAND Corporation. I became interested in this kind of work uh, while I was still a graduate student. I did uh, an internship for advanced graduate students at RAND, and I, um, it's my first chance to see if I enjoyed doing policy research, if I enjoyed being um, working on more current topics as a historian, and I, and I did. I think it was a great fit. RAND is a, a not-for-profit, nonpartisan research institution. It was founded after the Second World War. Uh, initially, it w worked very closely with the Air Force. Um, in subsequent decades, it's ex expanded its work for other parts of the Department of Defense as well as domestic agencies. Um, we do about, I think about 75% of our work is for the federal government. Um, about half is for the Department of Defense. So we, we work on um, a wide variety of issues that um, that the government might be interested in, and our mission is to support government decision making through research and analysis. Um, I think also part of our mission is to engage uh, the public in these issues. We make our reports to the extent possible uh, available for free uh, for download on our website. I think historical training is very useful for my work at RAND, in some ways more obvious than others, in some obvious ways. Um, we will cer I'll certainly do um, maybe a piece of a policy research paper we'll have to do with the, the origins and context for a current policy under consideration. That's something where historical training is certainly useful. I've, I've, certainly, I've also done archival-based projects, uh, which were more where my training as a historian was useful. But I think more broadly, just being able to work with large volumes of information and pulling out um, a narrative is something that I didn't realize not everyone is trained to do, but historians really are. And I think that that, that helps a lot when, there's, when we're trying to get our arms around a complicated new policy area. Typical day at work can vary tremendously. There are um, times of year when I'm just doing a lot of research, a lot of reading, a lot of um, the other times when I might be doing more writing if I'm drafting the report or, or assembling a briefing if I'm preparing for, uh, f for that. Um, but there are, Rand also actually has a, had a, has a program to send analysts uh, to combat areas to work as, as an analyst. So I spent three months in Afghanistan and that was a very different day-to-day -day work environment. There we were, uh, doing research, but also um, fundamentally a part of the um, the staff and and helping to to support the the general um, and where it was needed. So it sort of depends a lot on what the what the needs are for analytical um, products or support. Some things that I wish wished I had done in graduate school. I think. I think it would have been useful to have more opportunities for interdisciplinary conversations. I didn't realize how important that was. Um, and for my current job, it's, it's, it's very important and you, st you learn quickly how different disciplinary training can come together and support a product that's um, bigger than the sum of the parts. So I think that's something I didn't have many opportunities in grad school to, to do. I also think um, having opportunities to speak to uh, people who aren't in your field of study, uh, but, 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 may, but you know, your research might be useful to them. Developing a language for engaging those audiences, something I had to learn and I'm still learning, but that's not, not something that's emphasized in many graduate programs. So just being able to speak and to speak to, to um, broader audiences about the importance of your research. Advice I'd give to other students who are considering this path, I would say um, on a practical level, work to build your resume, um, build your professional network, and that can be about seeking institutional affiliations or, or people who, uh, who, who you who do things that you think you might be interested in, uh, really aggressively seeking opportunities to sort of build that, but also building your skill set. I think I didn't appreciate how simple things. I mean, Microsoft Office is a useful is apparently very useful in 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 uh, the in doing the kind of work that I do, and it was something I had many opportunities to learn. So just learning how to do basic computational things, I think, would have been helpful. So I think, but just broadly, looking to try and ex expand yourself as much as possible, both in skills and in uh, professional networks. I think careers outside the academy can be very attractive for people who really enjoy research, at least my, my field. I, I think that that uh, it's it's a, it's a research institution, it's a think tank. So you you spend a lot of time doing that, and. That's an environment that I really enjoy. I enjoy having colleagues who uh, are trained in a lot of different areas, broadly curious. So it's an environment where they're, the things that I enjoyed about the academy, like colloquia and having colleagues to learn from, is one that's very true where I work now. Um, but it's focused on the research rather than, than on um, other functions of the university, which uh, may not be a perfect fit for everybody. I think, so I think that's attractive, but also just feeling uh, like you're in, engaging on 
current topics of, the, of high importance to the government. I think that's, that's very exciting. And, and feeling like your work may be having a difference or informing the debate in a productive way, I find that very gratifying. I think as you proceed in your graduate program, you start thinking more and more about what kinds of job options might be a good fit. So I, I, but I knew that I was really interested in politics and interested in current events. So I knew it was possible that I would try and go this path of public service or a place like Rand. Uh, so I think I was open to, to opportunities and, and certainly tried to um, seek them out and whenever possible so that by the time I graduated, I was well positioned to have uh, more than just one. Uh, career path. So on the question of teaching, so Rand actually has a graduate school and they have a PhD, it's a PhD granting institution for policy analysts. And I had an opportunity to develop my own curriculum and teach a PhD level course, which was uh, a lot of fun for me. I think that I, I do miss that side of the academy and it was something that I was glad I could see I could, t could, could continue doing. Um, beyond that Rand, Rand graduate school, there are also opportunities in DC and in the Los Angeles area, which is where um, the office that I'm based out of, um, to adjunct teach at universities. Um, many, many, many research staff, me members of the research staff at RAND do that um, if they want to continue opportunity to work with students, and many do.